welcome to asbab test prep online lesson series in this lesson we'll go over arithmetic reasoning you know arithmetic reasoning one of the most important part in the asbab test asbab tutoring help over 8000 people through our online one one tutoring program and 90 percent of them struggle with arithmetic reasoning so watch the video and make sure that you have a pen and a piece of paper so you could write some very important information from the video that will help you to prepare for the test and then download this application called asba prep 2023 it has a lot of practice question a lot of practice tests and it has also asba prediction test that will help you um, to understand if you are ready to take the actual test or not so let's get started so in this video we'll go over 15 arithmetic reasoning question for the ASVAB test. So if you learn the concept, you can answer all kind of arithmetic reasoning problem in the ASVAB test. First question. Joycelyn walked a dog from 6.40 to 7.30 a.m. one day. If he was paid at the rate of $6 per hour, how much did he earn that day? So you could say here, uh, 6.40, to 7.30, see how long is it? So if you count it, you don't need to do any math. So let's count it. 6.40 to 7.40, it will be one hour, but it is 6.40 to 7.30. So that means even an hour, right? That is actually 50 minutes, right? If he gets um, $6 for 60 minutes, then 50 minutes, it will be for $5. So correct answer is answer D. Next question, Weston and Victor shared a million dollar property. If Victor received $125,000 and Weston received the rest, right? What fraction of the property did Weston receive? So what do you have to do? You have to first subtract 125,000 from a million. So let's do this on one, two, three, one, two, three, and then 125,000 right and then subtract it this is zero this is zero this is zero five to ten so that becomes ten that becomes nine that becomes nine if you regroup that so ten minus five is five nine minus two is seven nine minus one is eight so that is eight hundred seventy five thousand dollar um western um received so and then you have to find what fraction is it so what you could do eight hundred seventy five thousand over one million one two three one two three so now you could simplify how you could do that cross the zero out from top and bottom three three right now divided both sides by 25 divided by 25 so that gives you if you divided 875 by 25 that gives you 35 and if you divided 1000 by um 25 that gives you 40 now divided both sides by again um by 5 divided by 5 so that gives you 7 over 8 so the correct answer is answer option a 7 over 8. next question next question the pet store had six puppies selling for 104 dollar each and 12 kittens selling for $24 each. Today, only two puppies and eight kittens were left. In dollar terms, what was the ratio of sales of puppy to kitten? So first of all, find how much uh, sold for the puppy. So four puppies, so 104 times four, so that gives you 416. And four kittens are sold, so that is 24 times 4 that gives you 96 now you have to find the ratio from 416 to 96 416 ratio 96 if you divide it both sides by 4 so that gives you 104 ratio 24 divided both sides by 4 again so that gives you 2 and 626 and that gives you 6 if you divide it by um, 2 again, so that gives you 13 
ratio three so that is the correct answer so the correct answer option is option b next question a woman is looking for a bigger square office she finds an office twice the area of her current office if the perimeter of her current office is 88 feet how many square feet is the new office so the first of all the old office perimeter is 88 so you have to divide it 88 divided by 4 to find the one side of old office so if we divide by that so that gives you 22 is 88 right so now you have to find the area of old office so if you multiply 22 times 22 is you are multiplying 22 by 22 because this is a square office multiplied by itself right so this is 22 here 22 there so if you multiply 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 2 is 4 put a 0 2 times is 4 2 times is 4 so that gives you 4 8 4 so the area of the old office is 484 and now you have to find the area of new office which is a double of that so the double means multiply by 2 4 times 2 is 8 um, 8 times 2 is 16 6 carry 1 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 so that is 960 so um, 968 so the correct answer is 968 next question next question if the ratio of the side of two squares three ratio one what is the ratio of the perimeter so what you could do here look here so the ratio is three 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 right so the small one is one 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 so this is s1 this one is s2 right so the perimeter of this one p1 is uh, adding all the sides if you want to find the perimeter so that is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is that is 12 and the perimeter for the small one p2 equal to 4 so now here s1 ratio s2 equal to 3 ratio 1 now p1 ratio p2 equal 12 ratio 4 and if you simplify that that means divided both sides by 4 so that gives you 3 ratio 1 so that means perimeter to perimeter and side to side ratio are the same so the correct answer is answer option b so make sure that you write in your notebook and practice next question is june a restaurant's rent is adjusted to the cost of living index the rent has been 1550 a month and the cost of living index for this august was 3.7 percent what are the new rent per month so what do you have to do first you have to find 3.7 percent of 1550 so let's do that so 15 50 multiply by 0 0.0 three seven so anytime you multiply percent you need to move two decimal places one two and if you don't have enough digit you have to fill out with a zero and another trick so when you multiply decimals forget about decimals so multiply 15 50 times 37 so seven times zero is zero seven times five is 35 five carry three 7 times 5 is 35 plus 3, 38, 8, carry 3. 7 plus 1 is 7 plus 3 is 10. The second line put a 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15, 5, carry 1. 3 times 5 plus 1 is 16, 6, carry 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So now make sure that you line up the desk, I mean the numbers, and add them up. 0, 5, 8 plus 5 is um, 13, 3 carry 1. This is 7, 4 plus is 5. Right? So now after the decimal, how many digits do you have? You have 3 digits. So you have to move 3 decimal places. So that is that. So the rent increases $57.35. So you have to add them up. 
so 1550.00 plus 57.35 so now if we add them up this is 0 this is 3 this is 7 pi plus 5 is 10 0 carry 1 pi plus 1 is 6 this is 1 so that is 1607.35 it's actually 35 so that is the correct answer so make sure that you write that down all those steps and practice multiple times next question what is the cost of a mailing package that is two pounds and three ounces if the cost of um, 150 plus 0 0.05 for each ounce over six ounces right so the first thing you have to do you have to find how many ounces in total so one pound equal to 16 ounces right so two pound equal to 16 times 2 so that is 32 ounces plus 3 so that is 35 ounces right so this is the uh the first is a 50s 150 for um for first six ounces right so 35 minus 6 so that gives you uh 6 to 15 this is 9 this is 29 ounces so you have to multiply 29 times 0 0.05 so 5 times so forget about decimal first 5 times 9 is 45 5 carry 4 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14 so then move two decimal places right so so that gives you dollar 45 cent plus 150 so 150 plus 1.45 add them up 5 4 plus 5 is 9 1 2 so that is two dollar and 95 cents so that is the correct answer next question how many feet of chain fence are necessary to enclose a dog pen that is square and had an area of 64 square feet so let me just draw that so the area is 64 right to get the area is 64 if you want to find each side you have to find um you have to find the one side so how you could do that you know the formula a equal x square so then x equal square root over a so that gives you square root a a is here 64 so square root over 64 gives you 8 so each side is 8 8 8 8 so now what do you have to do you have to find the um the fence right the fence mean you have to find the perimeter so you have to add the side up so that is 32 so 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 so that is 32 so the correct answer is 32 feet you need um for the chain next question theo purchased a shirt for 2205 if the sale tax was five percent what was the total price of the shirt so what do you have to do so you have to find the 5% of 2205 and then add with that, right? So that is 22.05 times 0 0.05. So always move to decimal place if you want to multiply percent. So now forget about the decimal first. So 2205 times 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. 5 carry 2. 5 times 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. 5 times 2 is 10, 0 carry 1, 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So you see after the decimal how many digits you have in total, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is $1.10 is the sale tax. So you have to add them up. So 22.05 plus 1.10. So this is 5, this is 1, 2 plus 1 is 3 this is 2 so that is 23 dollar and 15 cents so so that is the correct answer next question a radar is designed to report the track of an aircraft in every second so that means it is supposed to report 60 track per minute right if the radar reports 30 track in one minute what percent of the track radar um, track the aircraft so it's supposed to do 60 
but it is doing 30 so that that is actually 30 out of 60 and if you simplify that that gives you one half and if you want to make one up into decimal that is 0 0.5 now move to decimal places if you want to make from decimal to percent so that gives you 50 percent so the correct answer is letter c 50 percent next question levy just bought two boxes the first box is a square with each side measuring 10 units and uh, four units high the second box is a rectangular and has twice the volume of the square box if the height of the second box is five unit and the width is 10 units what is the length of the second box so let's draw that let me just draw it the box right so that is 10 measure 10 units so that means 10 here 10 there and then 4 here so for the second box let's draw another box in here right so uh, second box is unit 4 unit height right so this is 5 and then with this 10 you have to find this length so first of all find the volume of first box so that is volume equal to length time width time height so that is 10 times 10 times 4 is 400 right so 400 um, unit cube so the second box has the volume of double of that so that means you have to multiply that by 2 that gives you 800 right now the, what is the uh, length here so same way so do this and so um 10 times 5 times x gives you 800 now you have to divide it both side by 5 times 10 is 50 so x equal to 800 divided by 50 if you simplify that gives you x equal to 16 so the correct answer is 16 so that is the answer option Next question, the shaded region of the design shown to be painted. What is the area of the shaded region of the rectangle? So what do you have to do here? You can see here inside a rectangle there are two circles. So first of all, you have to find the area of the rectangle. A1 equal to 20 times 10. So that gives you 200. And you have to find the area of the circle so you could see here that the diameter of the circle is from um, here to here is is 10 right so the radius will be radius will be 5 so the area of the um, circle equal to pi times radius is square so that is 3.14 times um, 5 is square so that gives you 3.14 times 25 and if you multiply that that it gives you um, 78.5 so you could do the math so there are two circles so multiply that 78.5 times 2 so that gives you um, 78.5 times 2 gives you 157 now I have to subtract from 200 right so let's do that uh, minus 157 so and then what do you get that gives you um 10 here 9 here 1 here so 10 this is 3 this is 4 so the answer is 43 so let's practice this problem a few times make sure that you watch the video at least a few times and then um download this application and practice on the final practice test it has like plenty of practice question in there so you know there are 15 16 different versions of ASVAB test and you don't know which one you're gonna get to make sure that you practice a few times and take a prediction test so that kind of tells you what might be your score if you go to maps and take the actual test okay